Um, today's topic is mercury thermometer. Here we discuss about mercury thermometer. Firstly, we explain now what are the reasons for the choice of mercury in mercury thermometer. The first reason is it does not weight the wall of the glass tube. Second is mercury can be easily seen in a fine capillary glass tube since mercury has shining appearance as compared to any other liquid. Also, it is a good conductor of heat. Therefore, the temperature we quickly measure using the mercury thermometer. Next uh, reason is that it has uniform coefficient of expansion over wide range of temperature. That temperature range is in between its freezing point and boiling point of the mercury. Next reason is that it has low specific heat. Now, what is the specific heat? Specific heat is the amount of heat per unit mass required to raise the temperature by 1 degree Celsius. If that specific heat is low, then it absorbs little quantity of heat from the body whose temperature is being measured. Next reason is that it remains liquid over a large range since its freezing point is minus 39 degree, degree Celsius and boiling point is 357 degree Celsius. Also it is very heavy since its specific gravity is 13.6. Now what is the specific gravity? Specific gravity is the ratio of density of substance and density of reference material and therefore that term is the uniqueless term. Now firstly we see what is the principle of mercury thermometer and then we see its construction and calibration. Now what is the principle of mercury thermometer? Mercury thermometer is based on the principle of change in volume with change in temperature. Since the mercury thermometer is a type of liquid thermometer. Now how it is constructed? For the construction of the mercury thermometer, initially we choose a thick walled uniform bore capillary whose upper portion is wider just like a funnel shape and its lower portion is just like a cylindrical bulb. Initially, if the mercury is poured through the funnel, the mercury does not directly enter into the bulb since the air remains inside the capillary tube. The longer portion of the capillary tube that we call here stem. To remove air inside the capillary, initially the bulb is slightly heated so that the air inside the capillary expanded and it expelled out. If the capillary tube is cooled, only the fraction of the mercury enter inside the bulb so that we repeat the number of times alternately heating and cooling the tube so that the mercury completely fill inside the bulb. Now such a here this capillary tube and its bulb which is kept in a bath whose temperature is slightly higher than the maximum limit temperature so that the bulb is completely filled with mercury and it rises slightly. Now we seal the mercury thermometer. Before that we confirm no 
any air remains inside the capillary and then only the capillary this tube is sealed off using the blow pipe flame and that is kept for long time once it kept for long time then only we use for calibration for calibration of mercury thermometer we choose a suitable scale whether that scale may be centigrade scale or fahrenheit scale or the remo scale for calibration calibration of the mercury thermometer we mark the two fixed points the first point is the lower fixed point and upper point is the upper fixed point lower point fixed point is at temperature of the melting point of the ice and upper fixed point is temperature of steam or the boiling point of the water for marking lower fixed point the mercury thermometer is kept in a ice chamber in that ice chamber the mercury is kept in vertical position with its bulb and the longer part of that stem should be should remains inside the ice chamber now that time the mercury will attain a stationary level in the ice chamber if the mercury attain stationary level that point we mark as a lower fixed point now the next step is that to mark the upper fixed point for marking upper fixed point secondly the thermometer is kept in a special kind of the steam chamber that we call hypsometer and in that hypsometer if the water boils this it reaches the temperature of the steam at about the 100 degree centigrade then mercury rises slowly and it attain the particular level that level is at about 100 degree centigrade this is the temperature of the steam and we mark that point as a upper fixed point now we get the two marking points on the mercury thermometer first one is lower fixed point and upper one is the upper fixed point the fundamental interval between two fixed point we call fundamental interval that fundamental interval is divided into number of equal parts depending upon the type of the scale if the scale is centigrade then that interval is divided into 100 equal parts each part equivalent to 1 degree celsius if the scale is fahrenheit the interval between the two fixed point is divided into 180 equal parts if the scale is in the remo scale that interval between the two fixed point is again divided into 80 equal parts now it depends upon the type of the scale if the scale is centigrade or fahrenheit or remo scale or kelvin scale now we choose here the two fixed point 0 and 100 degree celsius now it is divided into 100 equal part each degree equivalent to for one part such a thermometer is ready to use for the measurement of the temperature using the mercury thermometer and you know such a thermometer is very sensitive since mercury is a good conductor of the heat it easily seen how it rise in the capillary tube and it give the quick response within very short interval of time since it has low specific heat that reason we discuss all reasons we discuss earlier such a thermometer 
has commonly used for practical purpose for measurement of the temperature. Here we discuss about uh, what are the errors and their corrections in mercury thermometer. The first one is change of zero. When mercury thermometer is calibrated after sealing, there may be shift or shift in the zero mark. Because once the thermometer is subjected to the high temperature during the construction, glass take long time for contraction. When we use such a thermometer and it is placed in the ice, the level of mercury will be above the zero mark. That means that level should be at about plus 5 degree centigrade. Now, how we correct that error? So, we subtract 0.5 degree Celsius from the observed reading. Second error mostly arises in mercury thermometer is recent heating and cooling. When thermometer is used to measure very high temperature, the thermometer bulb get expanded. But at the same time, we immediately use it to measure the low temperature. Then the level of mercury will be lower than correct reading. To avoid that error, Mostly we use two different thermometer for measuring high temperature and low temperatures. Next uh, error is due to exposed stem. While calibrating the mercury thermometer, the thermometer as a whole which is kept in a steam chamber. While measuring Actually, measuring the temperature of a hot KG system, only the bulb is immersed in the bath whose temperature is to be measured. And due to this reason, the observed reading should be lower than correct reading. To correct this reading, the possible length of the stem should be immersed in the bath so that we get accurate reading. Next error arises in mercury thermometer is inequality of bore. If the diameter of the bore of the capillary is not uniform, then the position where the bore has lesser diameter or higher diameter, the reading should be different at the different places. And so that the observed reading and the correct readings are not same. To avoid that error, the capillary tube should be initially calibrated and graph must be provided so that it gives the correct reading. Next error arises in the mercury thermometer is the due to surface tension. If the mercury does not weight the wall of the capillary tube, means the depression of the rise of the capillary, uh, rise of mercury in the capillary, the depression is different at the different uh, position of the stem if the bore is not uniform. To correct this error, the thermometer reading should be taken with rising the mercury column. Next is effect of bulb. Bulb is a glass material. It is a bad conductor of heat. Such a bulb 
if it has insulating effect due to that reason the mercury inside the bulb may not attain the temperature of bath to correct that error the bulb should be thin walled and thermometer should be kept for long time before measuring the temperature then only we get accurate reading last one is the thermal capacity this is one of the error which arises in the mercury thermometer if the thermal capacity of the bulb is large then the part of heat is used in heating the glass bulb so thermometer reading always show low reading to correct that error the small bulb with lower thermal capacity should be used so that we get accurate reading now these are different errors and how we correct these errors that we discuss here in case of the mercury thermometer